Hello everybody, and welcome back to You've Got 5 Minutes. Sorry it's been a wee while, I've just not really been feeling it. So I decided to take a little break. I've been updating on my Twitter to let you know like I've, I've not been not been doing these uh, these videos for a wee bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, I noticed that nobody was really watching my Ease series. I was really excited to do like something different. But uh, Ease kind of fell through and uh, nobody was really watching it. So I'm just going to have to go back to doing You've Got 5 Minutes episodes. So uh, here is the first game in this I suppose you could call it a second season or something like that, since I'm back from the hiatus. This is Wolf, the Red Hood Diaries. Um, I'm going to start a game. And because I'm a pansy, I'm going to it easy. If there's any cutscenes, I'm going to kind of skip them when we get into the gameplay. Can I skip? Skip, please. Can I skip? No, can't skip. I've got a problem with my headset as well, everything's all bugging out on me. Oh my goodness, my headset is totally crap. My name is Red Riding Hood. I have no father, no mother, no fear. An itching urge for vengeance is what brought me here. My father died in a work accident four years ago today. Well, I don't believe in accidents. I believe someone should pay. I came back to the city in search of answers and for the man who ruined my life, B.B. Wolf. So, in case you doubt it, this is no fairy tale. Because there is nothing fair about it. Hmm. Oh dear, just cut it. Uh, the reason that I bought this to start off with, by the way, was because it was made by Grin. I arrived 14 days ago and sought a place to hide. An old woman rented me this dusty attic, and mm. since I must lay low, I left my room only at night. Right, hopefully she'll not speak. Uh, so yeah, I, I bought this because uh, it was made by Grin, and Grin made a uh, Bionic Commando, only for me to later find out it's not the same company. Uh, the people that made Bionic Commando Grin, they're no longer an actual company, so this company, this other company called Grin, has kind of taken over that name or something, I don't know, so, uh, well, press right bumper. I hadn't set foot in Olaka since I was about eight years old. I heard about its downfall. I'm gonna skip. Press B twice to skip. There you go. BB. I get it. BB. Because of the BB wolf. Um. Today is a big day. For after two weeks of exploration, I'm off to break into the city archives and retrieve some information. I'm not after a bloodbath. I want justice. So fingers crossed I get there without getting noticed. Got some bad news, there's going to be an awful lot of blood, probably. Because otherwise there's no really a game. So let's uh, let's just leave this place. Make sure to unlock all information before heading home. Granny hugged me goodbye with tears in her eyes. I don't, I don't care. There you go. Like, I might care one, like if I want to play the game on its own, you know? But there you go, I can jump now, finally. Curfew cleared the streets and the drapes went down along with the sun. BB Wolf's iron fist was like a punch to Olaka's face, bruising the memory of his late father's reign and the city's glory days. You're gonna have to stop doing like little cutscenes like that because I'm not gonna be playing the game for that long, like for this video. So stop it. That's cool. The platform feels a bit floaty, but... Uh, a twice to do the little jump. There you go. And 
nice. Um, left trigger to sneak. Okay. That's cool. Got like a stealth mechanic to it. Um, hold. Oh, that's cool. Jump on a ledge to hang. Okay. Well, the, the, the actual manoeuvring seems fine. The only cases in today are the ones on these posters. Hundreds of girls gone missing. Hundreds of families cut apart. Aw, oh, come on! That's not very pedestrian friendly. Surely you can do the sneak thing, though. Ah, you can sneak through them. Oh no! You can't sneak through them, you've got to to try and avoid them. The sneak's only to slow you down, I suppose. Fair enough. That's lame. Over time, tin replaced flesh and blood. In the factory as well as in the streets, driving families into I like the art direction though. It looks really, really nice. Dishonest deeds. <clears throat> All this tree climbing as a kid finally paid off. What do you mean? Ah, right, okay. I didn't have to do that though. They made the sprint and double jump available, so I didn't really need to use it. The art direction's really nice though. I like, I like the look of the game. Okay. So you guys keep on doing that and pretend I'm not here. Mechanics work pretty well together. They're all mm. nice. I'll give it a few more minutes. As you can see, there the game looks very nice. It might be kind of a wee bit too heavy on the storytelling for like a video like this, though. Unfortunately. The truth behind my father's death was buried along with his body. Lips were sealed and the case was closed, but not for me. I had already lost a parent. This simply couldn't be. For weeks I cried. For months I couldn't speak. Until finally, I was done feeling so broken and weak. I asked Granny to teach me how to hunt and how to fight. Now, at last, I'm ready to make things right. Mm. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Able to. There you go. Oh. That didn't work. What was that for? Oh, that didn't do anything. Wolf was kind enough to install a cable ride across the river. Kudos. Okay, so that doesn't work. Oh, Alright, okay, let's put here. Go, 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 go. My 
my biceps are going to be sore tomorrow. That's all the water stopped anyway. Hmm. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me, guys. Excuse me, princess. Oh, food. Let me pick up the baskets to get your health back. Because she's taking treats to her grandma, remember? In the little Red Riding Hood story. This looks like it's mm. where the investigation of father's death was. I'll try and get to there and then I must get inside. Yeah. I'll try. Not promising anything. Yeah. No way I can sneak past those bastards. Looks like I'm gonna get a wee with a combat then. Oh no! <laughs> we killed herself, what an idiot. Ah, spin it round. And then drop. There you Back go. in boxes where you belong. Back in boxes where you belong. Me. E. E. Lucky these guys aren't actually patrolling the area. Huh. That. Okay, well, that seems to be that then. Uh, that's the, the next area, I suppose. So that was uh, Wolf the Red Hood Diaries. It looks pretty cool. Like, it, visually, it's striking. It reminds me a wee bit of uh, Alice Madness Returns. Uh, it's a wee bit like there's nothing wrong with having the dialogue throughout the doing the platforming because that's the way Alice Madness Returns did it but uh, for like a video like this to try and show you what the game's actually like uh, never got to any combat within like a, a sort of almost 15 minute video you know so uh, you've seen that there was stealth mechanic though there was sort of kind of puzzle solving trying to get past the enemies and things like that so there's quite an awful lot of stuff to it, and I'm sure like the game will open up later on with some combat. So uh, yeah, looks like a looks like it's going to be quite an interesting game, and I like the I like the sort of how do I say it the kind of the basic kind of look of it, like uh, like it does kind of remind me like it, it's it's not a full out full out all drawn out 3D world like uh, Alice Madness Returns was. It's it's almost like a 2.5D platformer. You know, it's like, it's got some depth to it, but it's not like a full-on big 3D area, you know. Uh, yeah, so, and the music in the background as well is kind of like, almost like a lullaby-esque kind of whimsical thing going on, you know. Uh, but yeah, pretty good, voice acting was fine. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I probably will keep it on my hard drive and keep playing it, actually. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye!